he, you said it there, 30 shots. Um, keepers played pretty well for them. Um, disappointing the, the, the two goals we've conceded, especially the second one having gone back in the game, worked so hard to get that equaliser. We just needed a, a little bit of control. Um, just for the next five minutes, not even the next 30 seconds, the next five minutes, just a little bit of control, keep ourselves in terms of our mind nice and steady and we'd have gone on and won that game. Mistakes happen in football, both goals are poor mistakes from our point of view, but we've created enough chances there to, to win that game two times over. You mentioned the chances there, often not a lot wrong with the finishing, it was just the amount of blocks and then that safe. Yeah, you, know, you can give credit all day long to their goalkeeper and their, their defenders. We still didn't have quite the, the killer instinct, I felt. Um, too many balls were at a saveable height for the goalkeeper. Sometimes you got to hit the hit the goal line, um, as opposed to, to middle of the goal. So that's, that was a disappointing factor from us. It was always going to be difficult when they went down to ten men. Um, you've got to work the ball and shift it and create crossing areas of the pitch. And we didn't quite have the the players to de deliver it with quality. We had Pierce on there and, and Dean Moxie when he could push for, push forward, but we we missed Holmes at times today in terms of his delivery. Um, but having said that. You create that amount of chances, you, you expect to win a game. It's it's brutally disappointing. Um, they've got to pick themselves up now. I've got to pick the group up in terms of New Year's Day. We've been on a good run. Um, we didn't quite see it coming into end like that. You know, sometimes you get outplayed, you can accept it. But I think they've had two shots on goal, and obviously one's a penalty. Even the first one's deflected off pace. Like I say, I and mean, it's disappointing when you concede goals like that. But you've got to be pleased with the amount of chances we created. The second half was more of the same. What was your view on the, the red card? It looked like a bad tackle at the time. You can always tell by, by players' reactions. Um, I've not seen it back, so I don't want to comment too much. And obviously, he's, he's, he's a Grimsby player. Like I say, first reaction was that it, it was a red card. The referee was quick to make that decision. Um, but that apart, you know, I've still got to judge my group of players on that. Um, Alex Hartridge making his debut today. Pretty solid performance, but still areas to improve on. Um, I've said it time and time again about our, our weakness in terms of conceding goals at critical moments in the game. Oh, we give ourselves too much work to do to, again today, despite creating those chances. Um, people will see the stats and, and look at it, but the result is all that matters. And just like Alex Hartridge, you came in today after that long injury layoff as well. How pleased were you with how he did? Yeah, I was pleased. Um, obviously still room for improvement. I know what Alex is capable of. Um, I want him to believe in himself as much as we believe in him. Um, and it's a case of of integrating him into the group and League Two football slowly. Um, it was also a case of looking after Craig Woodman and, and Dean Moxie to an extent. You know, I could have easily put Dean Moxie left back, but in terms of the four games in quick succession for Dino and Woody, it would have been too much. So I wanted to keep the balance of, of Dino and Dara together at centre half. We'll see how the bodies are going into to New Year's Day, um, and then we've got a little bit of, of a break to to reset the the, the batteries um, and see how everyone is. But I'm hoping for a fully fit squad going to to New Year's Day. There's still a fair few positives to take into New Year's Day, isn't there? Which would be a tough place to swim. There is, you know, regardless of how we feel now, we, we, we've got to be positive. Um, even before their lad was sent off, even in the first half, the, the clearances off the line and the keeper's saves were, were incredible at times. But I still want more quality. I want, it, I want them to make it, you know, inevitable that the ball goes in the back of the net. Jaden does that. That's why he's our leading goal scorer, and that's why he did it again today. Um, I needed more from the rest of the group in terms of that as well. Sometimes the chances fall to the, the right people um, and like I say, we hit the target on regular occasions but they're all at a saveable height for the goalkeeper. We've got to hit the, hit the goal line more than, than we did today. Having said that, you give Grimsby credit for their defending and their goalkeeper performance but it's all about us and, and now it's all about looking forward to Swindon. And that's earlier, are there any injury worries against Swindon? Well, Lee Holmes missed out for injury today um, so we'll, we'll wait and see next 24, 48 hours. We hope he will be fit but He's, he's got a sore one, so we'll see how he is. Like I say, it's 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 been a lot of games in, in quick succession. I would have liked to rotate the squad even even more than I have done, um, but hopefully we go into to New Year's Day with a, a fit enough squad to compete there and get a positive result.